What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Wednesday, April 13th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then sign up at Yahoo, uh, the presenting sponsor of this video. You can go to AwesomeO.com slash Yahoo dash promo, or click the link in the description of this video. You get one month free of AwesomeO Plus Platinum. You get a deposit bonus on your first deposit. You get to check out all of the great tools that we have for Yahoo behind the paywall at AwesomeO.com. What's not to like? Now we're going to round out the bottom of my top 10 with Yaka Pirtle, PJ Washington, Trey Young, Bogdan Bogdanovich, and DeJounte Murray on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. In first at number five, we've got Terry Rozier. He's shooting guard eligible, $27. Projected for 37. The goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. I gave him 36 minutes. He's a fantasy point per minute guy, 23% usage, 20 points, five boards, five assists, and a stock and a half. If you don't know what Terry Rozier is doing on a night to night basis, I don't know what else to tell you here, but he just looks good. I, I don't really have much else to say. He's going to play a lot. He's going to have the ball a lot. He's going to score a lot, likely. The, the price tag works. He's just a steady hand on a two game slate. As is his teammate, Miles Bridges, in at number four. Power forward eligible, $31. Projected for 37 and a half. The goal is 43, and he is in the optimal lineup 42% of the time. I gave Bridges 36 minutes, but if you told me he played 40, that would not shock me. 1.04 fantasy points per minute here. 19 points, eight boards, four assists, a steal, and a block. I just like getting to these two guys from Charlotte. I think the prices work. And what I really think is interesting here is that I think these guys are a little bit underpriced given the way this game should shake out. Rotations are going to condense a bit now that we're in the playoffs or at the very least in the play-in. We don't have to spread minutes out as much, which makes me think that there's upside for Rogier and Bridges to play 36, 37, 38 minutes and not anything in that like 32 to 34 range. Rotations condense, minutes go up for some of these guys. I don't feel like the prices followed suit. In at number three, we go to the Pelicans and we go to Joval, center eligible, $27, projected for 40, and the goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 42% of the time. I think Joval plays 32 minutes here. He's a 1.25 fantasy points per minute guy. Now, it is a bit of a tough spot for him against Yaka Pertl. That is a decent matchup. He's getting another guy, like sized guy, or at least like sized enough. 22% usage. This is where it gets fun. 17 points, 14 rebounds, two and a half assists, and a stock and a half. Joval is going to dominate the glass here against San Antonio, or at least that is my expectation. And I think he's going to do that at a price tag that isn't all that scary. We haven't seen Joval play big minutes a lot as of late, but there were times during the beginning of this season where he was playing 34 to 36 minutes. I gave him 32, so I think there's even upside in his playing time. Back to Charlotte at number two for LaMelo Ball. Point guard eligible, $35. Projected for 44. The goal is 46. He's in the optimal lineup 45% of the time. I gave him 36 minutes. There's no reason to screw around any longer. We don't need to give extra minutes to someone like Isaiah Thomas any longer. We should just want our best guys out on the floor. 1.22 fantasy points per minute. 27% usage and a 22 7 and 7 line for LaMelo Ball. That is just stunning to see. Oh, yeah, two stocks, by the way. So, whether it's Ball, Bridges, Rogier, even PJ Washington sneaking into that nine spot, Charlotte is a team you want to target. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are. And then go to awesomeo.com slash yahoo dash promo or click that same link in the description of this video so you can get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum. Your number one contender for today is Brandon Ingram. Shooting guard eligible, sure, $32. Projected for 43, the goal is 44. He's in the optimal lineup 46% of the time. I gave Ingram 36 minutes. Uh, he's back, he's playing into the 30s, and I think 36 feels real. Should be more if they're trying to win this basketball game. 1.2 fantasy points per minute, 25 points, seven rebounds, and six assists. A little over a stock. It's a great pace up spot against San Antonio. They gain 1.8 possessions over their average. And more importantly, I think Brandon Ingram is priced to play 32 minutes today and not 36. And we see that with a $32 price tag. 
Take advantage of that discount. That is why you see Brandon Ingram in the number one spot. It's just not the correct pricing for a play-in rotation. Brandon Ingram is your number one contender for today. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Wednesday, April 13th. FanDuel and DraftKings versions of this video are around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again on Friday morning with another edition of The Contenders.